You know, you might just be the perfect man. She's just coming to realize that now. Mm -hmm. Donna, I need a minute alone with Stephen. Is it just a minute, or do I need to get a cab? It won't take long, but the rest is up to you. Well, I'm guessing you're not here to join us for dessert. You called Colonel Moriga. Yeah, I called him. Called him to find out what Cameron Dennis had offered him and to uh, suggest that he could do better. You mean you called him to offer him a bribe? Doesn't matter. Dennis was bluffing. He never had him in the first place. He didn't, but he does now because of you. You're saying he traced my call. You're damn right I am. And you're angry with me. You're supposed to be looking out for Ava. If I didn't know any better, I'd think that you were working for Cameron Dennis. And by the way, the man is in hiding. His own country can't find him. How the hell did you? Same way you would. You know people here. I know people everywhere. Well, calling those people just screwed us. I called them Harvey because you were doing nothing. I was doing nothing because he had nothing. And then I had the tape thrown out, and he had less than nothing. Then he threw a Hail Mary, and you just caught it! If he found Mariga by tapping my phones, the judge will throw him out. You think we're gonna be able to prove that that's how he found him? You wanna carry on yelling at me, or should we fix this? You know, I've had about enough of your fixer crap, okay? You didn't fix shit. You broke it wide open. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm here to tell you that if I hear your name around my case again, I am gonna beat the shit out of you. You told him you were gonna beat the shit out of him? Yeah, and that's the last time I'm gonna tell him anything. <laughs> what, you think I wouldn't do it? No, I'm not sure you could do it. What's he gonna hit me with his ascot? Harvey, the man plays rugby. That's no joke. How do you even know that? It's on the Darby International website. Oh, I don't give you enough work. And I'm gonna change that right now. Cameron's not denying us access to Mariga, which means he's gonna sing any song Cameron wants to avoid a firing squad. So I need to find anything I can to take Mariga apart. What the hell is this? I'll tell you what it is. It's a witness list from Cameron Dennis with Colonel Mariga on it. And he's giving us access, which means he's not bluffing. I know. You told me he didn't have him. He didn't. Then how the hell did he get him? Steven. He was trying to fix it. Are you telling me you let Steven Huntley lead Cameron directly to the star witness? I didn't let Steven do shit. He did it on his own. He's your guy. You aligned with him. I did not. Okay, he's Edward Darby's guy. You made a deal with Darby that makes him your guy. You really want to do this right now? Are you telling me he doesn't know? You know I know. You and I had this conversation once, and you know where my loyalties lie. And as for your point, Steven is only here at all because you made a deal with Darby in the first place. And I told you, I don't want mine anymore. Then I guess I'm still in charge. And since I've now been drafted onto this case, no one tells Edward Darby or Stephen Huntley a goddamn thing. Does anyone in this room have a problem with that? Hey, do you want to talk about last night? No, Donna, I don't. Harvey, you said my being with Stephen bothered you, and I just want to make sure that... That he... what he did deserved interrupting your date? Did it? I don't know, Donna, you tell me. I mean, we had this entire case locked up. And then your boyfriend gave Cameron a get-out-of-jail-free card after I told him to stay the hell out of it. What'd he do? He tracked down Mariga and led Cameron right to him. Harvey, I'm... You know what, instead of discussing Stephen's bed right now, I have to try to clean it up. Hey, what happened to you last night? I think you know what happened. I saw you two yelling at each other and I didn't want any part of it. Well, believe me, I didn't want any part of it either. Well, what did you think he was gonna do when he found out you screwed up his case? I think you know that I wasn't trying to screw it up. But you did. And he specifically told you to stay away. And you told me not to discuss you with him, so why are you discussing him with me? Because I have a relationship with him that's a lot longer than a few weeks, and when you mess with him, you mess with me. Donna, I wasn't trying to mess with him. I was trying to help him. And as long as we're on the subject, I'm sure he mentioned if it wasn't for my previous help, he wouldn't still have Ava as a client. You know, he might have mentioned something about that. 
then can we get back to not discussing him? As long as you promise not to do anything to make us not discuss him ever again. I promise. Good boy. I'm gonna ask you once, is he telling the truth? Yes. We had a conversation on the phone, but not about murder. You didn't think we needed to know? I didn't remember. That lie won't play well in court. I told you about the meeting. I didn't think to tell you about the call where we agreed to meet. That's all it was. When, where, how much money? Not even that. That was settled beforehand. It was a formality Nick arranged. Nick Howell, your former protege. He dealt with these people. He knew what was expected. It was a social nicety, so insignificant. I didn't remember until you brought it up. They brought it up, and now they're gonna point it out that you didn't. I understand it looks bad, but Edward said that this man is a murderer and there's no need for me to be concerned. Edward Darby says a lot of things you want to believe, but shouldn't. You don't believe me. Hiding a conversation and then coming clean about it later tends to get in the way of trust. Jessica. It makes you disingenuous. It makes you look guilty. I'm not. Do you find that people usually kill your enemies for you without your asking? Jessica? Ava, you'll have to excuse us. We have to come up with another plan because the one we had just went to sh I didn't realize you'd be here. Didn't want to look me in the eye. Ava, I'm sorry. I'm glad I can help you as a character witness. I had no idea admitting to the bribe would lead to this nonsense. Solicitation of murder is nonsense? You know what I meant, that Ava would never do that. No, we agree. We don't think she would. We think you would. What, you're trying to blame the murders on me? You met with Mariga before Ava did. You made the arrangements. You agreed on the payments. You know all this, but we didn't know this. Mr. Howell is being shown a record of deposits into a numbered Swiss bank account opened one week after the murders. How did you get this? Are you saying it's not yours? It's not what it seems. Then tell us what it is, because what it looks like is a split of the take. How much did Mariga cut you in for? These are bonuses. Bonuses? It was part of my deal. Incentive payments for getting the job done under hardship conditions. The only hardship you had was finding someone to kill those people. You split the take with Mariga, then hid your share. This money didn't come from Colonel Mariga. It came from Hessington Oil, and she knows it. You can't keep pointing the finger at Ava. You acted alone on this. I have emails asking for her authorization to make bonus payments. Those emails didn't mention Swiss bank accounts. Because I knew you wouldn't want them to. They didn't mention Swiss bank accounts because you went to Mariga and arranged everything. I didn't even know Mariga. He came to me, he laid out a bribe, I accepted it, and Ava knew everything I did. That's a lie. Well, she knew, she just didn't know the specifics. And now you're acting like this means that I ordered the killing of those people. Well, I didn't. But if you try to make it look like I did without her knowledge, no jury is ever going to believe it because it's not true. surprise. And I come bearing gifts. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, well, it's only right. You've given me so many things, and I've never given you anything. Well, anything like this. What is it? I'm surprised you don't recognize it. It's a copy of Colonel Mariga's deposition. My copy count didn't reconcile with the machine. It was off by seven pages. The exact amount of that. You thought I wouldn't notice. I would. You spied on me. Oh no, I trusted you. Donna. Don't Donna me. You looked me in the face and you made me a promise. I also made a promise to Ed with Darby. And I made a promise to Harvey. And I wouldn't make another one if I knew I could only keep one. So you're choosing what you don't have with him over something that you do have with me. This has nothing to do with him. I don't care if you said you'd stay out of Norma's business and you went back on it. You lied to me. We're done. Oh, and by the way, you're welcome. For what? For not telling Harvey about this. Because if he found out, he would beat the shit out of you. Emmanuel Mariga, 20 years ago at the University of Cape Town as an econ major. 
always had a head for business. He was also on the rugby team. You know who else played rugby? Stephen Holloway. Stephen's record from Cambridge included a semester abroad at the University of Cape Town. That year's team, they had a hell of a season. They're still a team. Darby was clear. Whenever he has a problem, Stephen's the one he sends in to fix it. And Ava's problem was his problem, so when she came to him to get her pipeline bill... He went to Stephen. You want to know what it took to set up those murders? One phone call to Mariga from the offices of Darby International, from Stephen Huntley's London office. From there, Mariga calls Nick, Nick calls Ava, and the whole thing is set in motion. They thought they were paying for a bribe, but they were actually paying for murder. And they never knew the connection. And when Ava's about to be charged for murder, Stephen shows up to make sure we'd never find out. I'm so sorry, Harvey. Harvey. Harvey, what are you going to do? 